Um, and that was their that was their advice. Just you know, don't think. Uh, yeah, just relax um, and and enjoy the ride. And uh, he said, when you get on the plane, we'll strap in. When we get up to a thousand feet, then we'll unhook the seat belts and and relax till we get up to five thousand feet, and then we'll put the harnesses on and go through the, the practice because when you go out of the airplane uh, what I want you to do is tuck your thumbs into the straps and when you go out arch and uh, pull your legs back up against the bottom friends and neighbors I'm getting ready to go <laughs>
just like floating on air. I mean, it, it didn't feel like falling. It just felt like flying. And uh, um, the photographer came up to me and we grabbed hands like that and did some spins. I explained a little bit earlier, what they do today was, one thing we get to do is to replicate what the guys do in the field. Uh, free fall for the Army is reserved to most the elite airborne and special operation units and even within those units the halo teams are separate because of the advanced skills that it takes and the additional punishment on your body and everything else that happens when, when it makes these kind of jumps. The Golden Knights are, are one of three aerial demonstration teams for the Department of Defense. The Blue Angels, the Thunderbirds, along with the Navy and the Air Force and we get to represent the Army, get to represent your soldiers all the time. So it's a great honor for them to spend the day with us and uh, do, should get a little insight as to what we do and we get a great honor to represent the Army but also to what soldiers, your soldiers do every day here behind enemy lines, these same skill sets for precision and vertical infiltration behind enemy lines. So that's what they got to got to see today, what it's actually like for the guys to do that. So thanks a lot for spending the day and uh, doing that. Yeah. Thank you. Now we did a couple presentations for them. Uh, the first thing we have a command lithograph, so they can remember this. Link this to you before uh, we pass it off. Uh, this is made in house with our own media relations department. This is a uh, the command lithograph, uh, the, the same one that was given to the president when he got to jump with us. And the, the team made this until we got the team in free fall with the red smoke that you'll see tonight when they jump in the show, blends into the American flag with a subliminal eagle here representing freedom and honor. And then uh, the guys doing a nighttime pyrotechnic demonstration jumping out of the aircraft because the guys do this day and night downtown, wherever they got to go. And then it shows from the non-tactical side where we get to showcase the Army skills all the way to the tactical side that the guys we get to represent. And with this certificate, suitable for framing, put your I love you wall. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing we have, just a little token that also of our esteem, is a commander's coin from the, from the parachute team. Um, for those of you that are familiar with the Army, uh, you might have seen this before, perhaps at the, at the end of the aisle here, or something very similar. Uh, the original design, which you can see at the end over there, um, this is the logo that was established uh, in 61. The team stood up in 59, and they won so many gold. What does this guy's yell? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 